and click Jeopardy time. And click Jeopardy time. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, crap. I did not know that was right there. All right. Y'all ready for Inklix Jeopardy? All y'all, <laughs> all y'all here are in accredited nursing schools, right? Like anybody here, I'm just kidding. I'm not going, I'm not going to shit on all the South Florida nursing schools because I'm definitely from South Florida, but I went to nurse school in Georgia. Okay. All right. All right. So welcome to NCLEX Jeopardy. For the people that are here, welcome, welcome to NCLEX Jeopardy. It's another Thursday at 7. This is me, Nurse Sam. How y'all doing? All right. We do these every... Oh, come on. We do these every Thursday at 7 p.m. on TikTok Live. Okay. Hold on one second. All right, is that better lighting? It is. Perfect. All right, but yes, we do these every Thursday at 7 p.m. This is just a really fun way to study for the NCLEX or even your nursing school exams. I know um, school just went back in, nursing school just went back in for the spring semester um, this past month. So a lot of you are just now like a couple weeks into your program or into your semester, um, whatever semester that may be. So this is just a really fun way to learn about the things that you must know and you need to know within these categories without the overwhelming feel of studying for hours and hours without actually retaining anything, all right? This fun competition, like Jeopardy style game, just makes it fun and entertaining, which just makes the information stick much better, all right? Both long-term and short-term. There's science to back this up. All right, so for all my visual learners and people that are like maybe some kinesthetic learners, this is for you, okay? All right, so, if, um, all right, we, someone's already here. Fundamentals, fundamentals. All right, so really quick um, rules for how to play. All right, I'm going to choose a category. We have five categories, farm, Fundamentals, adult health slash med surge slash pathophys, maternity and mental health. All right, there's five questions per category ranging from 100 points to 500 points. When I select a question, it's going to come up. You're going to see the question as well as the answer choices. In the comments below, you are going to comment what is and then whatever the answer is. All right, uh, there's no doses calc here, so it's not going to be fun in the blank. So it's going to be uh, either one, two, three, four, five, or six, if it's select all that apply, you're just going to say what is and then whatever the answer is. You say that if you want points, all right? We are playing for points. We have TikTok here and we have my Instagram family. All right, so there's going to be one winner from each. The person that has the most amount of points at the end of the game will win a free Ultimate Nursing School bundle, all right? You're going to want that. That's a staple, okay, especially if you're a visual learner. All right. If you have any other questions, just put them in the comments below. Either I will answer or someone that is a vet that has been here before will answer. All right. For all my people, if this is your first time, let me know that this is your first time, who you are and where you're from. And then we are going to go ahead and get started in just a minute. Are there any questions before we get started? After you let me know if this is your first time or your second, third, however much time. Uh, give me a thumbs up, letting me know that you are ready to get the game started. And we can go ahead and get started, y'all. All right. All right, all my first timers. Hello, hello. Here on TikTok, I see you, all my first timers. Awesome. This is going to be really fun, a really fun review for you guys, especially if you're a visual learner and freaking about those upcoming exams. Okay. 
All right, this, re this is an NCLEX review for both RN and PN programs, the real accredited programs. I'm not talking about those South Florida ones, okay? All right. All right, so I have our thumbs up. Looks like we are all ready to play. Mm -mm -mm. All my first time is here in um, Instagram. Okay, perfect. So let's do, I saw somebody said, I think the first person said farm for 200. So let's do farm for 200, y'all. Ready? And go. All right. The nurse is preparing to insert an intravenous IV angiocatheter into a client's inner forearm. Before cannulating the vein, what motion will the nurse implement to cleanse the site? One, scrubbing from the wrist toward the elbow. Two, scrubbing from the elbow toward the wrist. Three, using a circular motion from the center outward. Or four, using a circular motion inward toward the center. What is our answer? Remember to put what is um, and then your answer. Okay, if you want to qualify to win the points, you want to say what is. And the first person on my screen on both Instagram and TikTok is going to be the winner of those points. All right, but you have to say it in what is style. If you're just here for the review, because there's nothing really good on TV right now, have at it. We're here for an hour. We're here for a, a good time, not a long time. Okay. All right, so I have all my what is answers. Let's see what the answer is. Y'all ready? You wanna give yourselves about a minute, um, minute and a half. You wanna really, you wanna work towards like a minute, under a minute when you're taking your practice questions, all right? Start to time yourselves so you don't spend too long on a question, all right? And our answer is what is three? The nurse cleanses the or nurse cleans the site, the skin, I'm sorry, by using a circular motion from inward to outward. This is the standard accepted aseptic technique to carry microorganisms away from the insertion site. The same technique is used to cleanse in any area requiring surgical asepsis. Options one, two, and four are incorrect procedures and do not represent aseptic technique. All right. So remember, whenever you guys are answering your questions for NCLEX, doesn't matter what program. Honestly, it doesn't matter if it's just for the NCLEX. It could just be for your nursing school exams. Always ask yourselves why. All right. You need to know why. You need to know the rationale so that when you see something like this again, you'll know what to answer. All right. So let's go ahead and see who our, our winner is. Let's see. All right, so on TikTok, our win I'm not, not on TikTok, our Instagram, our winner, first person to say what is three is Strong Liz. Hey, Strong Liz, congratulations. You are our IG winner. All right, so Strong Liz. All right, you are, you have 200 points. Awesome. All right, now on TikTok, our winner is, wait for it, first person to say what is three, is Ellie Stoltz. Awesome. Great job, Ellie. All right, so Ellie and Liz, you are our winners for this question. We are about to move on. Give me a thumbs up if you guys are ready to move on to the next question and category. Give me a thumbs up and then give me which category you want to go and tackle. All right, give me a thumbs up if you're ready and then vote on which category. Great, great, great job, great job. Anybody say anything? Someone said, all right, I see mental health. So let's do mental health 300, all right? Mental health 300. All right. A client with a history of panic disorder comes to an emerg or comes to the emergency department and states to the nurse, "Please help me. I think I'm having a heart attack." What is the priority? Priority is bolded. What is the priority nursing action? One, assess client's vital signs. Two, identify the client's activity during the pain. Three, assess for signs related to a panic disorder 
or four, determine the client's use of relaxation techniques. This is mental health for 300. What is our answer? Please don't forget to say what is if you want the points. All right. What is our answer? And remember to say why. All right. After you answer and you say, you know, what is or you just give me the answer. Next thing you need to type in your comments is why. Why did you pick the answer that you picked? If you say what is one, why is the answer what is one? Why is the priority nursing action to assess clients' vital signs? Why is the, or if you said two, why is the priority nursing action to identify the client's activity during the pain? Give me the reason why. All right. I see Tishan said, what is one? Because before doing anything, you need a baseline of vitals. You should always assess first. All right. Let's see what that answer is. Ooh, what is one? All right. It says clients with panic disorders experience acute physical symptoms such as chest pains and palpitations. The priority is to assess the client's physical condition to rule out a physiological disorder. Therefore, options two, and two, three, and four are not the priority. All right. Note that it didn't say that two, three, and four are incorrect. It just said it's not the priority. All right. Remember, whenever you are answering priority questions, you want to think about man, M-A-N, my man, my man, my man. All right. M stands for Maslow's. A stands for ABCs. And N stands for the nursing diagnosis. I'm sorry, the nursing process. So ADPI. And what do we know about ADPI? The A in ADPI stands for assess. All right. Assess, diagnose, plan, uh, implement, and evaluate. That's what ADPI stands for. Okay. All right. So let's see who's the first person to say what is one with this one. Uh, C. Wayne. Hey, C. Wayne. Welcome back on Instagram. C. Wayne, you are on the scoreboard with 300 points. Awesome job. Now on TikTok. Mm-mm, who is it? What is one? On TikTok, let's see who got this one first. Uh, Laura, 4727. Congrats, Laura, 4727. All right. You have 300 points. All right. Great job. Let's go to a different one. And I think we'll do pharmacology since that's this week's theme in Camp Nursing School. We're going to go ahead and do pharmacology and we're going to do 400 points. Okay. Okay. Y'all ready? Thumbs up if you are ready for pharmacology for 400 points. Y'all ready for farm for 400 points? Give me a thumbs up. All right, TikTok's ready. What about you guys on Instagram? Are you ready for farm? All right, let's do it. Here we go. All right, silver sulfadiazine. (laughs) <laughs> is prescribed for a client with a partial thickness burn and the nurse provides teaching about the medication, which statement made by the client indicates a need for further teaching about the treatments. One, the medication is an antibacterial. Two, the medication will help heal the burn. Three, the medication should be applied directly to the wound. Or four, the medication is likely to cause stinging every time it is applied. Remember my trick, every, each and every time you read a question, all the way through, read the question, read the answer choices, read all the answer choices, and then spin it back, spin the block, all right, and go back and read at least the last line of that question so you can remind yourself of what it's actually asking. Which statement made by the client indicates a need for further teaching about the treatments? What does that mean, a need for further teaching? And that's bolded, by the way. All right, a need for further teaching. All right, if we're looking for a statement that needs further teaching, are we looking for the right one or the incorrect? Are we looking for the correct statement or the incorrect statement? All right, let's see what that answer is. Ready? And don't forget to tell me why. The answer is what is for? What is for? Ooh, I saw a lot of people choosing. It was like battles of the ones and fours. 
All right, so on TikTok, first person to get what it's for is Ellie Stoltz again. All right, Ellie. Listen, Ellie is on it. Ellie, when you take your NCLEX, because you are on it, honey. All right, Ellie, you had 200 points. Now you have an additional 400. So you have 600 points. That's on TikTok. All right, on Instagram, let's look and see. First person to say what it's for is Gapster 830. Gapster 830. Great job. All right, Gapster 830. You have 400 points. Awesome. All right. Now let's look at the rationale. Let's look at it together because this one got some of us. That's okay. That's what that's what practice is for, right? Don't be ashamed if you got it wrong. All right. What is for? It says the medication is likely to cause stinging every time it is applied. That is the statement that would indicate a need for further teaching. All right. It says silver sulfadiazine is an antibacterial that has a broad spectrum of activity against gram negative bacteria, gram positive bacteria and yeast. Good to know. Thanks. It is applied directly to the wound to assist in healing. It does not sting when applied. This is important. You will see this again. I don't know what stage y'all at in y'all nursing program. If you're st if you're already graduating, you're taking your NCLEX. When it if you get a question about silver sulfadiazine and it has to do with uh, teaching, which normally it usually always does, one of the main things it's gonna test you on is whether or not you know that this does not sting when applied. All right, and why is that most commonly gonna be the like the question that's asked on the NCLEX or your exam? Because that's a very common complaint. That's a very common question or a inquiry from a uh, I'm gonna say a client, <laughs> a patient. All right, they are they already have a partial thickness burn. Okay, you putting something on it, they're instantly gonna think it's gonna sting. All right, so as far as nurse teaching about this medication, a lot of it's gonna be centered around. You knowing and you making sure that the patient knows that this will not sting when applied. All right. So for someone to say or for a nurse to say, most likely one of the nurses from South Florida, if one of the nurses from South Florida, them 7600 said this medication, silver sulfadiazine is likely to cause stinging every time it's applied. That's how you know that's a nurse from South Florida. OK, go call the police. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But yes, this is an incorrect statement, so therefore it needs further teaching. You get me? I'm saying, can you explain how it's not gonna sting? I, I can't, because just because that's like a pharmacology thing, it's just it it doesn't have stinging properties. I don't know. <laughs> um but yeah. All right, y'all ready? <laughs> we can't throw the whole South Florida out because I, you know, I'm I'm from South Florida. We still got family down there, all right. But those seventy six hundred, we can throw them out. Bye. All right. So we did farm fundies, mental health. Um, choose a maternity or adult health question. Mm -mm -mm. Choose. All right, everyone says maternity. So let's do maternity. Let's do for 500 child. Let's go. Ooh, we. All right. Maternity for 500. The nurse is providing nutritional counseling to a new mother who is breastfeeding her newborn. The nurse should instruct the client that her calorie needs should increase by approximately how many calories a day? 100, 300, 500, or 1,000. Remember to say what is if you want the points. If you don't want the points and you're just here for the review, uh, just say the answer. Remember, the, the person on IG and the person on TikTok with the highest amount of points will win a free Ultimate Nursing School bundle and a, nursing, uh, a Nurse Life Digital Planner. All right, so I am getting a little bit bit of I'm getting different answers remember to tell me why all right for all those that are saying an answer give me why and even though you're giving it to me you're typing it out for this it's really yourself that you're doing this for all right you need to say out loud why the reasoning why 
All right, so let's look and see what that answer is to see if y'all are correct. The answer is what is three? 500. 500. All right, it says if the client is breastfeeding, her calorie needs increase by approximately 500 calories a day. The client should also be instructed on the need for increased fluids uh, and the need for prenatal vitamins and iron supplements. So yes, the amount of calories that a um, breastfeeding new mother should increase by is one is 500. All right, so let me see what y'all are saying. Mm -mm -mm. Let me look, let me look, let me look at what y'all are saying. All right, so on TikTok, the first person to get what is three is, hold on, hold on. Or what is 500, whatever. Wait for it. Come on, Ellie Stoltz. All right, y'all. Ellie, you had 600. You got an, an extra 500. So you are now at 1,100. So you are in the 1,000-point gang. So great job, Ellie. All right, so on IG, the first person to say what is three is... Mm -mm. Hold on, hold on. What is three? What is three? Strong Liz. All right, Strong Liz. You're already on the um the scoreboard with 200. You got an extra 500. So now you have 700 points. Awesome job. All right. You guys understand why it is what is three? Come on. Mm -mm, let me see what y'all are saying. A lower word said 300 is for pregnant um, patients and 500 is for pregnant moms. All right. They need to increase the calorie intake because they need to pretty much compensate for the calorie loss when they're breastfeeding. All righty. Great job. All right. Adult health. Y'all want to do 500? Y'all just want to go for it? Mm -mm. All right, let's do let's do let's do it for five hundred because we can do hard things, right? Period. Let's let's tackle the beast. All right, the nurse has conducted discharge teaching with a client diagnosed with tuberculosis who has been receiving medication for two weeks. The nurse determines that the client has understood the information if the client makes which statement: one, I need to continue medication therapy for one month. Two, I can't shop at the mall for the next six months. Three, I can return to work if a sputum culture comes back negative. Or four, I should not be contagious after two to three weeks of medication therapy. What is the answer? Don't forget to say what is if you want the points. And don't forget to tell me the rationale. Tell me why you chose what you chose. You can just say like what is and then the you know what is the answer and then and submit it so you can you know get your points and then in the next comment let me know your rationale okay um hijabi shell said is this game on your page sis i'm on my first semester of nursing school and i'm so glad i found you i'm so glad you found me too oh my gosh yes so remember if you guys want to play the full version of nclex jeopardy all you have to do is download my free app it's called the Nurse Sam. You can search it in your app stores, both iOS and Android devices, or you can go to the link in my bio and click where it says download app. It will take you to the link where you can go straight to the download link for whatever phone you have and it'll download it. All right. It is free to download. Once you download the app and open it, you go to uh, and click Jeopardy, you will see the full 25 question game it changes questions weekly so you get 25 questions every week it is free to play all right free to download and free to play 25 free and collect questions a week you really can't beat that with a stick it, it don't date don't get heat okay let's see what this answer is you ready what is for the answer is what is for 
All right, let me see who got it right. Ooh. Hold on. What is four? XO Natalie 24 on TikTok. XO Natalie 24 on TikTok. So you now have 500 points. Great job. All right. Hold on. Let me move this. See if that's a little bit better for you guys. All right. So on Instagram, the first person to get what is for is. Mm, Nevea Breeby. Great job. Nevea Breeby. You have 500 points, love. Great job. All right. So let's read the rationale together. It says the client is continued on medication therapy for up to 12 months. By the way, if you did not get this question right, I want you to put a star next to this because tuberculosis is one of those disorder diseases that are commonly tested both in your nursing school exams and on the NCLEX. All right. It's a common disease. So that's still treated today. So it's definitely going to be you're definitely going to be tested on it. All right. These are what this is what you should know. The client is continued on medication therapy for up to 12 months, depending on the situation. The client generally is considered non-contagious after two to three weeks of medication therapy. I need you to highlight that, underline it, star it, tweet it. I don't care. The client is generally considered non-contagious after two to three weeks of medication therapy. That's very important. The client is instructed to wear a mask if there will be exposure to crowds until the medication is effective in preventing transmission. The client is allowed to return to work when the results of three sputum cultures are negative. That is also very important and very heavily tested. The client is allowed to return to work when the results of three, not one, not two, but three sputum cultures are negative. All right. Non-contagious after two to three weeks and allowed to return to work after three negative sputum cultures. You get me? All right. Put a star next to it. And then when y'all get that on y'all next text, when you see that on, on the NCLEX, I want you to come back and be like, Sam, you was so right. I did see that tuberculosis thing up there. All right. Y'all ready to go to the next one? Are y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? All right, let's go. Mm, we can pretty much start over. So let's do fundies. Let's do fundies. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. fundamentals for four hundred guys. The nurse is preparing to administer one milligram of hydromorphone, a Schedule II opioid. The medication is available in a pre-measured syringe of two milligrams per milliliter. Which action by the nurse is correct? One, return the unused portion of the medication to the pharmacy. Two, ask a second nurse to witness disposal of the unused portion. Three, administer the one milligram dose and save the remainder for the next dose. <laughs> I thought they were going to say save the remainder for you, your friend. Or four, administer the one milligram dose and discard the unused portion of medication. Ooh, what is the answer? This is this is very important. If not for the NCLEX, it's important to know in actual real life <laughs> nursing. Don't listen, don't go to jail with them 7,600 7, nurses, okay? Fake nurses. Let me stop throwing shade. <laughs> but it's funny. You cannot, You it, it's really not. But it's also very humorous all right y'all ready what is two somebody said tashawn 16 said cya so the answer is two. Ooh, i love a good cya y'all know what cya means cover your apple bottom jeans yep let's go with that <laughs> yep number two uh, ask a second nurse to witness disposal of the unused portion. Do not go to jail. I'm not putting money on none of y'all books. 
period. Okay. It says the Controlled Substances Act requires the nurse to have a second nurse witness disposal of, um, yeah, witness disposal of unused scheduled medications. Both nurses will document on the required form. Unused portions are not saved or used. Uh, one more time. Say it one more time. Unused portions are not saved or reused. Please don't put it in your pocket so you can sell to your friendly neighborhood pharmacologist from South Florida. <laughs> Okay, you will go to jail. I keep trying. All right. Don't believe me if you want to. All right. Did we? No, I did not say who got this. All right, what's the answer? What is two? So let's see who got what is two first. Holy crap. Woo. Hold on, y'all. Oh. No, somebody said, why would it be two, though? Isn't wasting medication a big no-no in nursing? No, that's that's not necessarily how it is, especially because sometimes medication is available, like it says right here, it's available in a pre-measured syringe. So it's either you give what's available or you don't give it at all. If you don't give it at all, that's neglect. You know, that's 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 actual causing harm. So you have to give what you actually have on hand. If you have to waste it, then that's just it, it, a part of the game. But you have to waste it responsibly. You have to res- waste it legally. Okay, that's why they have this Controlled Substances Act, all right, so that you know how to dispose of any unused um, uh, scheduled medications the proper way and the legal way so that you don't get in trouble, your witness don't get in trouble, and your facility don't get in trouble, okay? Now, what they teach in South Florida, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. All right, first person to say what is two is. Mm, mm, mm. Ellie Stoltz. Okay, Ellie, listen. Ellie said, I did not come to play. Ellie, you was at the Beyonce Dubai performance because you are just on your game. All right, 1500 for Ellie on TikTok. Who's the first person to get Wiz2 on the Instagrams? Wait for it. C. Wayne. All right, C. Wayne, you had... 300 so you just got an extra four so now you have 700 all right cool all right that was fundies what we did after fundies i think we did farm i think we did farm let's do 300 let me be cute all right farm for 300 y'all y'all ready All right, let me go back down to here. Hold on. All right, let me look up. Sorry, I was looking at what y'all said. Very important, Gigi. Gigi said, don't think about what ifs. When testing, everything is perfect, right? There is no, listen, this is very important. Why y'all read and answer this? When you're taking the NCLEX, and these nursing questions, unless these questions literally states that there's some kind of, you know, um, whatever. All the details you need to know will be in the question, all right? So unless the question states a detail that is, you know, saying something other than the ordinary, you need to think um, of the NCLEX and all these questions as if it's the perfect world, all right? It's a perfect world, it's perfectly staffed, all the staff is nice, there's no nurse bullying, you have enough equipment, the equipment's always there, your CNAs never go missing, the nurses aren't bitches, the the NPs and everybody else aren't a-holes, none of that, it's it's perfect, it's like the Sims, okay? Perfect world, it's a perfect world, so don't think about what ifs. What if I don't have somebody to witness? Don't think about that. Unless your question says it, don't think it. All right, now let's get back to the question. All right, um, the nurse has provided instructions to a client who will receive Alteplase for the treatment of acute myocardial infarction. The nurse determines that teaching was effective if the client states that the main action of Alteplase is what? One, it will slot the clotting of my blood. Come on. Two, it will keep my blood thin to prevent clotting. Three, it will dissolve any clots that are obstructing the coronary arteries. And four, it will prevent any further clots from forming anywhere in the body. 
All right, let's go back to that last line. The nurse determines that the teaching was effective. All right, if the client states that the main action of alt place is what? Okay, first things first. Remember to say what is if you want the points, but this is pharmacology for 300. So what kind of medication, what kind of drug is Altaplace? All right. And if you didn't know what Altaplace was based off of, could you be able to tell what it, what it um, did based off of the information, like the indication and the use, the main action based off of what you're given right here. All right. Depending on where you are in your program or what you, what you know. <laughs> about suffixes and everything like that. What does alta place do? What is alta place used for? All right, this question is asking, um, based on the main action or based on what alta place is, how would you know that the teaching regarding this medication has been received and is correct and factual and effective? Okay, if they say which one? Which statement indicates that they understand the correct use main action of alta place? Mm -mm. I'm seeing lots of what is threes, but I am seeing some fours here and there. All right. I'm looking to see if anybody caught that and somebody, and somebody did. Okay, good. All right, let's see what that answer is. You ready? What is three? All right, three says it will dissolve any clots that are obstructing the coronary arteries. All right, um, who said what is three first? <laughs> First person to say what is three is Gapster on Instagram. Gapster, you're already here with 400. So you just got an extra 300. So Gapster, you now have 700 and you're tied with C. Wayne on Instagram. And then um, right here on TikTok. Who got what is three first? Hold on. Unique Monique. Unique Monique. Hey, Unique Monique. You are now on the scoreboard with four, 300 points. Unique Monique. Awesome. All right, so let's look at what it says. It says Alteplase is a thrombolytic medication that is used to manage acute myocardial infarction. It lyses thrombi that are obstructing the coronary arteries, decreases infarct size, improves ventricular function, and well, decreases the risk of heart failure and limits the risk of death associated with myocardial infarction. All right, one, two, and four are not medications, are not actions of this medication. All right, so yes, number three, Alta Place, it is a thrombolytic. All right, just like it says, it lyses thrombi. All right. Remember, lice means to destroy. What the hell is that? Lice means to destroy. All right. And the thrombi. What's the difference between a thrombi, a thrombus, and a clot? What's the difference between a thrombus and a clot? Go ahead and comment below. What is the difference? between a thrombus and a clot? Anybody? Come on. If you don't know, put, I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, Jennifer N. Well, somebody, Naldo Sims. Perfect. Thrombus is moving. A clot is stationary. I remember I was asked that in my nursing program and none of us knew either. <laughs> but yes, a thrombus is a moving clot. Thrombus means there's movement. Clot is stationary. All right. I got that. 
Mm -mm -mm. Yes, a thrombus migrates in a clot stay in place. Awesome. Great. All right, y'all. That was farm for 300. Let's go ahead and go to what do we do after farm? I think we did mental health. Let's do mental health. Let's do 500 since we're, what time is it? Getting down to the wire. All right. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> a thrombus is a fibrous clot that moves okay mm -mm -mm. all right guys this is mental health for 500 what is the priority nursing action with admitting a client who has just attempted suicide one ensure constant observation of the client at all times Two, conduct a thorough mental health assessment of the client. Three, determine whether the client has ever attempted suicide previously. Four, remove all potentially dangerous articles from among the client's belongings. Go back to the question. It's only a one sentence question. What is the priority nursing action when admitting a client who has just attempted suicide? Please remember that whenever you see a question that's asking you for a priority nursing action or a priority anything, remember MAN, Maslow's, ABCs, airway breathing circulation, or the nursing process, ADPI, assessment, diagnose, implement, plan, evaluate. All right, remember that the priority is always going to go in the favor of whatever action gives the client and the surrounding, everybody else, you, the client, and everybody else, the most safety. The theme of the NCLEX, y'all know I love themes, but this is for real factual information. The theme of the NCLEX, both new and old, is client safety, all right? So all of your actions as a nurse, your priority should be to the one that uh, makes the client the most safe, all right? Protects them from the most harm. What is that answer? Answer is actually one, guys. The answer is one. The answer is one. The answer is one. Just give us the answer, but y'all got it wrong. I'm just kidding. The answer is one. Once again, if you do not like me talking through and really helping you guys understand and retain the information that's perfectly fine different strokes for different folks however this is a live interactive learning experience if you would like to just get the questions and have it silent you can definitely download the free app the nurse sam and play the free and click jeopardy all 25 questions without me talking you can just play at the, the quietness of your own house wherever you are okay still the same 25 questions without my voice Different strokes with different folks, but everybody else that wants to actually learn how test taking strategies and how to answer these questions, that's that's what I'm doing it for. Love you. All right, so first person to get this one right when a lot of people got four, but that's okay. That's why we're gonna go over it. Wait for it, wait for it. Hold on, hold on. Ellie Stotes. Okay, Ellie. All right, Ellie, you just got another 500. You are now at 2,000 points on TikTok. And then on Insta. Hold on, hold on. On Insta, C. Wayne. All right, C. Wayne and Ellie. Ooh-wee. I hope y'all are very confident about y'all um, and flexibilities. All right, now let's go over the rationale. It says, the plan of care for a client with a serious suicide attempt must reflect action that will promote the client's safety. What I just said. Now, constant observation status, aka that one-on-one -on -one by the nurse, and never being less than an arm's length away are the best interventions. While the remaining options are appropriate, all right, none have the priority at the time of admission. All right. Remember, whenever you see priority, all the answer choices may be correct. You're just looking for the one that promotes the most safety. Okay. 
All right, great job, guys. Next one. What else that one? We did maternity. Let's do maternity for 300. Um, Letitia said, can you go over the MAN acronym, please? Yes, M-A-N. That's what you want to think about when you're doing priority questions or answering priority questions. The M stands for Maslow's, Maslow's hierarchy. The A stands for ABCs, which is airway, breathing, circulation. And the N stands for the nursing process, aka ADPI, which is assess, diagnose, plan, implement, and evaluate. All right, that's what you want to go through in your head when you are trying to figure out which actions to choose first. Okay, there's also a video on it as well. All right, maternity for 300. Thumbs up if you are ready. Wait, wait, I'll go back down. Aww. Boop, boop, boop. All right, let's go. <laughs> I said I was being passive aggressive. I wasn't being passive or aggressive. I was just being straight up. All right. Maternity for 300. The nurse in a delivery room is assessing a client immediately after delivery of the placenta. Which maternal observation could indicate uterine inversion and require immediate intervention? One, chest pain. Two, a rigid abdomen. Three, a soft and boggy uterus. Or four, complaints of severe abdominal pain. Please note that immediate is bold. All right, think about your keywords that also mean priority. What is our answer? All right, I'm seeing lots of threes and fours. Remember to go back to the um, question in and determine where that client is. Remember, this client is, we're assessing a client immediately after delivery of the placenta, okay? So let's see what that answer is. What is four? For those that was stuck between a one and four or three and four, the answer was four and this is why. All right, signs of uterine inversion include a depression in the fundal area, visualization of the interior of the uterus through the cervix or vagina, severe abdominal pain, hemorrhage, and shock. Chest pain and a rigid abdomen are signs of a ruptured uterus, and a soft and boggy uterus indicates that the, mes the muscle is not contracting. All right, remember, it says which maternal observation could indicate specifically uterine inversion. All right, so really this one was uh, asking you for the signs and symptoms, the assessment cues of uterine inversion. Okay. Who's the first person on Insta to say what it's for? Mm -mm -mm. Momo Solil on Instagram. You now have 300 points, great job. And then on Instagram, <laughs> this and I work in farm. All right, let's see, first person to get what is for. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Unique Monique. All right, Unique Monique, you already had 300 points, so you just got another 300. So now you have 600. All right. All right. We have time for one more. Okay. Um, we did, did we do two of them? No, we didn't do adult health. So let's do adult health and let's do it for 400 points. Okay. All right. Last question, guys. Adult health for 400 points. A client with a spinal cord injury expresses little interest in food and is very particular about the choice of meals that are actually eaten. 
How should the nurse interpret this information? One, anorexia is a sign of clinical depression and a referral to a psychologist is needed. Two, the client has compulsive habits that should be ignored as long as they are not harmful. Three, the client probably has a natural slow metabolism and the decreased nutritional intake will not matter. Or four, meal choices represent an area of client control and should be encouraged as much as nutritionally reasonable. What is that answer? Um, I'm seeing lots of like, I'm seeing lots of what it's for is, but I'm also seeing what is one. What are you guys saying here over here on the TikTok world? Yeah, I'm seeing like ones or fours. Okay, tell me why you think it's one or four. Why are you between one and four? And then we're going to go over it. <laughs> Not man says it's the Florida version. Shut up. <laughs> I make the Florida jokes around here, okay? <laughs> I'm just kidding. My fault. <laughs> All right. Let's see what that answer is. Y'all ready? What is four? The answer is what is four? It says depression frequently may be seen in the client with spinal cord injury and may be exhibited as a loss of appetite. Remember, go back to that question. Um, it gave you that the, we, the client had a spinal cord injury and they expressed little food, little interest in food. Um, and it's very particular about the choices um, that are actually eaten. So the answer, once again, is what is for? Meal choices represent an area of client control. Um, it says, however, the client should be allowed to choose the types of foods eaten and when they are eaten as much as is feasible because it is one of the few areas of control that the client has left. Remember, they have a spinal cord injury. All right. There is no information in this question that would indicate the client is anorexic or uh, obsessive compulsive or has a slow metabolism. All we know is that they have a spinal cord injury. All right. And based on that fact that they gave us, that can have a very uh, direct effect on their decision making and how important it is for them to have um, areas of control, something that they can control. Okay. Something like what they want to eat and when they want to eat it is something that they can control. All right. So first person... First person to get what is one, I mean, I'm sorry, what is four, my fault, is Ellie Stoltz and... Hmm. C. Wayne. All right, what is this? 400, yep. So Ellie Stoltz, you now have 2,400 points. And C. Wayne, you now have 1,600 points. Great job, guys. All right, so that concludes today's NCLEX Jeopardy game. All right. If you guys want to play the full 25 questions, once again, you want to download the Nurse Sam app. All right. If you download the Nurse Sam app, well, if you want to download the Nurse Sam app, you can either search for the Nurse Sam in your Apple or uh, Android, Google Play Store, wherever it's called. <laughs> or you can go to the link in my bio and select download app now and it will take you to the appropriate link. 
All right, you can, it's free to download and it's free to play all 25 questions. All right, the game we just played has not been loaded yet. It will be loaded right after we end this live. You still have access to the questions from last week. All right, so give me a few minutes so I can update this to tonight. Refresh that app and you should be able to have full access to all 25 questions. We only did like half of them, not even. We did two, four, three. we did 10. So that means there's an extra 15 that you still haven't done and have yet to do. All right, you still have three questions in each category. All right. Once again, this is amazing practice. Doesn't matter what kind of um, program you're in, as long as it's nursing, a real accredited nursing program. All right, so whether you're studying for the NCLEX RN or the NCLEX PN, this is great practice. All right, this focuses in on the stuff that you need to know, very commonly asked and tested questions, concepts, all that. All right, we've helped over 35,000 nursing students get in, through, and out of nursing school and taken past their NCLEX, you can and will be one of them as well. All right, I've been doing this for three years. So far, so good, if I do say so myself. All right, if you have any questions, please let me know. And do not forget to sign up for Camp Nursing School. All right, we are in week two, which focuses on farm, med surge. And then week three will focus on maternity, peds, and mental health. All right. If you missed week one where we did fundamentals and like anatomy stuff, if you still sign up, you will still get the week one recap booklet. It's 19 pages of the information you need to know, um, common med uh, abbreviations, prefixes, fun crossword puzzles to help reinforce the content. And just things that visual learners like worksheets and stuff like that, the visual learners like me would definitely appreciate. OK. If you have any questions, please let me know, but you can sign up for Camp Nursing School, which is once again for free, link in my bio, all right? If you want the actual study guides to help reinforce the content and present it to you in a fun, creative, entertaining way, make sure you grab the Ultimate Nursing School bundle, okay? Except for our winners of tonight's NCLEX Jeopardy, who are on TikTok, we have Ellie Stotes, and then on IG, we have C. Wayne. All right, you guys won a free Ultimate Nursing School bundle. It's regularly 97, but you guys win it for free. All right, complimentary. It's 400 pages. It is printable as well. It comes digital, but it's also, also printable. And like I said before, the Ultimate Nursing School bundle gets you lifetime updates. And a new update is actually coming within a few weeks. All right, so yay, yay, yay. All right, <laughs> so Ellie Stoltz and C. Wayne, please, if you have, I hope you have Instagram, please tell me you have Instagram because the way these DMs work, it's weird. But if you have um, Instagram, please DM me your first and last name as well as um, your email address so I can go ahead and send you your free Ultimate Nursing School bundle so you can get to studying and being entertained so that you retain more of what it is you're studying. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Let me see what y'all saying. Thank you guys so much. Remember to come back next week, 7 p.m. Same time, same place for all new questions for NCLEX Jeopardy. Alrighty. Thank y'all so much. And I'll see y'all next time.